There's video of the home. You can see them gardening. We're going to take a look at some of these videos. I'm going to put the link down below if you want to check out his TikTok and if you want to check out the videos for yourself. And it's a bit interesting and it's kind of almost like I couldn't almost believe it as far as like the gardening thing because, well, check it out. We'll check it out. And this was the whole gardening situation where it says Christopher Laundry notices drone, informs his wife Roberta, and they both retreat. And I just kind of have the thought and thinking about the world right now has their eyes on the Laundry family, and people are very upset. Some people and people have been going out there protesting. Fights have been breaking out between neighbors. Somebody was arrested. People have megaphones. There was ordinances or uh, citations issued for the megaphones. Just chaos, and a lot of people angry and upset. And they're out gardening like normal, like nothing's kind of going on. And at one point he spots the drone and you can see it point, him pointed out to her. And I guess they got to go about their normal lives, but it's just kind of crazy to see how like everybody's just, Rawr! and they're just, da, 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 da. he points it out and they go back inside. This guy also posted, Nerdy Attic posted, there's wanted flyers all over the neighborhood. Inside they go. This is also some video that he posted at the Carlton Reserve. Apparently they're still out there searching. 25,000 acres of nothing. 21 minute drive from the reserve to the laundry home. Okay, cool. Local police said the wildlife here is miserable, especially with insects and snakes. Uh. Police said they don't believe Brian is here, but they but they are required to search. I don't know what are they, what are they looking for? Evidence, I guess. Lee County Sheriff's Department has deployed a dragonfish drone today to assist in the search with Brian Laundry. Sophisticated drone, 18 mile range, artificial intelligence tracking slash flight paths, two hour flight time and thermal imaging. Wow. Fancy stuff, man. Hmm. A couple of quick tidbits before we head out. Definitely go and check out the Nerdy Attic page. I'll put the link down below. Now, the Gabby Foundation's Twitter page is official. It's up here. They're going to be doing a thing where they help, like I mentioned earlier in the live stream, Gabby Petito Foundation up and running to help parents bring their children home. And so the account is now officially up and running. This was posted today, 9 p.m. This is the official account. I'll put the link down below if you want to check it out. They're just getting up and running, getting everything set up. The other little quick tidbit as far as what we spoke about earlier today in the uh, alleged, well, the person that alleged seeing Brian, they believe they really saw Brian. Dog the Bounty Hunter is working to confirm tip about Brian Laundry's location. And so it says here, Dog the Bounty Hunter has been working to confirm a tip about a recent sighting of Brian Laundry near the Appalachian Trail. It was revealed Sunday. Lisa Chapman, the daughter of Dwayne Chapman, told the Post that she has been in contact with Dennis Davis, who claims he spoke with Laundry on a deserted road near the border of Tennessee in North Carolina Saturday morning. I do believe Dennis. I am convinced. He's convinced. Lord Almighty. We're doing everything we can to verify Dennis tip, but there isn't much to go off of other than the location, but we're working off of that tip. So you guys let me know what you think about the tip. Let me know what you think about the whole drone situation and the family being watched. And thank you guys so much for joining me. Take care of yourselves. Have a good night. Be safe and peace.